What you have to remember is that everyone has one window to the world, and each person sees things a little differently. By using I messages, you tell people how you feel. I feel sad, I feel angry, I feel confused. When you say how you feel, it calms people down. But when you accuse or blame, it makes the conflict worse. Name calling and put downs just cause more name calling and put downs. Let's see. Next class, I think I'd like to How is I going to remember all this? I words, ground rules, contracts. There's so much to remember. I was hoping I wouldn't get called. What if I mess up and make things worse? Maybe nothing will happen today. Hey, Phil. The playground supervisor said a couple of kids were arguing with each other. They're waiting for us in the library. What am I doing? What if I mess up and look stupid? Hi, Carol, Jason. You know me, I'm Ruthie. And I'm Phil. We are mediators. Mediators? Look, Carol, I'm sorry, okay? Can I go play now? Wait a minute. The playground supervisor said you guys were shouting at each other. We want to find out what was going on, so maybe we can help you come up with a solution to whatever happened. Just so you know, Jason, Carol's in my art class. Is that okay if I mediate? Am I in trouble? If you can solve this here, it ends here. If you can't, what do you think will happen? I don't know, we'll probably get into even more trouble. But I didn't do anything. Okay, before you tell us what happened, we'll tell you the rules. So now that you've agreed to the rules, we can begin. So what happened, Jason? It started at the bus stop yesterday. She called me mean, stupid, and a thief in front of all the other kids. She told Sam, stay away from me. Today at lunch, they were whispering and laughing at me. Sam used to be my friend, but he won't talk to me anymore. Who wants to be friends with someone who takes your stuff, messes it up, and lies about it? You're the liar. Wait a minute, both of you. Carol, please let Jason finish without interrupting him. You'll have your turn, too. Jason, are you finished? No, it's all because she said I stole your eraser, and that's not true. She gave it to me while we were waiting for the bus. Then she said I took it. Nobody believes me. It's not fair. So what you're saying is that Carol gave you the eraser, but then she said you took it, and Carol started calling you names and told her the kids not to talk to you? Yep, that's it. How do you feel about this? I feel she should go to the principal. How do you feel inside? Mad? I don't know. I thought she gave it to me. Carol, what happened? I thought he wanted to borrow it overnight. It's a really special eraser because it looks like my dog Oscar, except it's blue and he's brown. But my big sister gave it to me. I just let Jason borrow it. He was supposed to give it back. When he didn't, I told Sam to watch out for him. See how mean she is? Jason, wait a minute. I wanted to hear what Carol said. So what you're saying is, you loaned the eraser to him overnight, but he wouldn't give it back. So you just told Sam to watch out for him. Yeah. How do you feel? I don't know. I feel mad. What can you guys do now to solve your disagreement? I don't know. Maybe I won't bring thing, special things to school anymore. That's OK for the future, but what about now? Jason, what do you think can help resolve things? What about telling Sam that I don't steal stuff? I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs>